Uh, okay, so we talked about today just being absolutely spectacular, and it is Zoo Day uh -huh. uh, in Fort Worth, <laughs> which means a lot of people are going to show up like they did last year, Mario. Yeah, and you really couldn't ask for better weather for it. At least we have uh, that good news. It is going to be a little breezy, so that is something to consider. But I want to take you out to, to take a look at Fort Worth this morning. We're looking at a cool start, 47 degrees. If you're going to be out there early, maybe take a sweater with you. And I do want to show you this. This is Travis. You'll be able to see him at the zoo. He was actually born late February, so baby elephant. Uh, just so cute. So uh, the weather that you can expect while you're out there into the 50s around 10, 63 degrees around 1, 68 degrees around 5. We'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds. Winds are going to be light for the morning, but do pick up in the afternoon. And again, it's going to be nice. Tomorrow, not so nice. We're looking at an enhanced risk for severe weather. That's a level three out of five for the likelihood of strong to severe storms. The threats here, large hail with the strongest of storms, the potential for damaging winds, and I'm not ruling out the potential for an isolated tornado or two. And that's all as this dry line takes shape in West Texas and eventually moves into North Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth included in that level three out of five. It's just that time of the year. So most of the day today, we're going to notice a mix of sunshine and clouds. Tomorrow morning, it'll start out dry, but by around nine, we'll start to see a few scattered showers. This is Thursday around nine. I'm going to fast forward here. This is now 10 11. We'll see a few thunderstorms, not severe at this point. By around one, two in the afternoon, we'll see this dry line take shape and that dry line is going to interact with some of that moisture. That's the reason why we'll see thunderstorms. That dry line is going to push those storms along the I-35 corridor counties sometime around four. So I need you to be prepared between three and about seven. Let me show you why this happens around five, six. That dry line helps push these storms east of the Metroplex. It's going to be pretty fast moving. I'm not expecting the threat for any flooding. The front then follows and that front is going to help bring in maybe a few more scattered showers, isolated storms. The threat for severe weather though will be over by around eight or nine. We'll notice that it dries out. It will eventually clear out. It stays breezy and it's going to be quite chilly out. I'm expecting anywhere between a quarter to half an inch of rain. It's not going to be a lot. The higher amounts will be well to the east. So look at how the changes happen. It'll be really nice today. Tomorrow ahead of those storms, 75 degrees, so it'll still be warm. Friday morning, 38 degrees. And then the mid 30s, Saturday and Sunday. If you are north of the Metroplex, you get very close to that freezing point over the weekend during the mornings. So don't say I didn't warn you. Temperatures are going to drop from the 70s Thursday to the 50s for highs Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I know a lot of us have some outdoor plans this weekend. It'll be dry, but it'll be chilly. And then we start out next week with another round of rain. So definitely make sure to have that WFAA app. We'll keep you updated on tomorrow's afternoon storms. But for today, enjoy it.